Hey, what is up YouTube? This tutorial I'm going to be showing how you connect your PS3 to your Mac or um, MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. I'm going to close this for now. It will work on all three. So what you're going to need, you're going to need AV components or yeah, AV cables. You're going to need an audio splitter. Well, this is optional, but it, I think it makes it sound better with red and white. And you're going to need an easy cap. With this, you could get all three of these you could get off of Amazon or eBay or whatever you want to do. I'll have all the links for the, each three in the description of this video. So, this is what that looks like. It's, the D, it's called the Easy Cap D60, not the D60 Plus. DC60, my bad. And um, so, here's what you're going to do. So, you're going to grab your AV cables and you're going to select the black one or yellow one, depends which one you want to use. The uh, black one's S-Video, which is a little higher quality than yellow one, which is composite. So you're going to grab your, or now I'm going to use the black one. Well, actually, I might use the yellow one. Yeah, I'm going to use the yellow one first. Grab your Easy Cap yellow and your AV yellow and put these together. And so you're done with the Easy Cap for now. You grab your audio splitter. This is white, white and red. Put the colors in according. Uh, put the cables in according to the colors. It's not hard. <laughs> and yeah, that's what you do for now. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna uncap your um, Easy Cap. So this looks like a USB, and you're gonna place it in one of your USB um, cables or USB um whatever you call those uh, USB uh, out inputs. Okay, um, but. So sadly, since I have the MacBook Air, this this um audio splitter can, cannot fit, like cause uh, here, let me grab this, cause the audio splitter can't reach all the way over here. But you won't have a problem with that with the MacBook Pro or an iMac or any other computer. Well, yeah, other computers you might have problems, but with this one you may not. So you might want to get an extension. And, well, this is just the audio, so that I don't really play with audio since it doesn't work on a MacBook Air. Well, it does work, except it doesn't reach. So now we're going to get into downloading the software. So now you have the EasyCat plugged in. You have everything config uh, wired and configured. Well, not configured on the computer, but that's what we're going to do now. So there are two options for downloading. You could go to um, Ventrask. And it will have easy cap. Well, you could actually search easy cap viewer, and this will come up. I use I could use easy uh, Ventrask or Mac Update. So I'm gonna go select this. You could um go download the application. Well, um you could, and this is the QuickTime compo. I'm not sure what that is. Don't mess with that. You can if you want to, but um I would download the application. And you could also go to Mac Update. I'm not so familiar with this one, but I guess you could go here. Yes, yep, yeah, download. And right now it's at 0.6.2. In the future, it won't be that. So don't just look for that. And once you get downloaded, I already have a download of it. You can get EasyCap. You could, there are also many other versions of EasyCap viewers that you could download. Those are just the two top that I reviewed. And I, I use this, which is the U, um, USB TV 007. So you're going to open that up. I also took a screenshot of what the configuration looks like. So I wouldn't I wouldn't forget. So what you're going to do to configure it, you're going to go to EasyCap Viewer, Configure Device. And I'm using Composite, which is the yellow cable. Uh, leave, I'm not sure what all of this stuff is, but these the, this was the only option for me. It's probably going to be other options for you. And you could uh, switch your brightness and everything. I'm not going to mess with that now. And here's where you do audio, I guess. Yes. Mm, and I didn't get that I didn't get that plugged in yet because it doesn't fit. And so we could start here. And you're going to turn on your PlayStation. It might take a second to start up. And you'll see... Here we go. The graphics aren't so good because I'm using composite. But if you, I had a problem with S video that though it was starting to get rainbowy, like there was a magnet on the screen. 
I don't have a controller right now. Let's see. Nope, I'm not. I don't have one. So uh, I do have one, but it's not here. So that's how you get it configured. Look, I'll show you configure device. Set the brightness black up. Yeah. Um, contrast. Oh, don't want that. Okay. <laughs> you do all that stuff, and so yeah, that's how to get it done. If you also are having trouble, because sometimes here I'll show you this. Here, let me unplug the easy cap. Wait, actually, I'm gonna force quit this. Oh, can't force quit quit time player. It's gonna end the video. So um. I'm going to unplug the Easy Cap, and I'm going to open Easy Cap Viewer. So a lot of this stuff would pop up. Like when I try to use Bentrask, this popped up for me, even though my Easy Cap DC DC60 was plugged in. I found a lot of problems with that. So um, I am using the DC60. Make sure you get that if you're going to use my tutorial. Do not get this because that's not uh, that's not supported on this. So watch another another video for that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up and add to your favorites and do all that stuff, please, if you like this video. And this was Tutorial Hub with another video. Bye.